All right. Uh, wow. Welcome, everybody, again. Uh, this is a voting session, Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, the Cameron Parish Police Jury. Uh, we'll get started. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, get to Mr. Chuck McKinney. Fact or a decision making process based on who may profit in those cases. If any of the following people has a substantial economic interest in a transaction involving the public servant's agency, the public servant may not participate in that transaction. The public servant or member of the public servant's immediate family. A legal entity in which the public service uh, has a substantial uh, economic interest. Chuck, just for Any? the public, uh, with the, the cow cam fair. Yes. My name's Chuck Kenny. I'm with the Cow Cam Fair Association. Second oldest fair in the state of Louisiana. He's got the one that called down the elbow. He's got the incorporated big things. Bull fighters only and the uh, ultimate bull fighters. Of, uh, I call and invite those guys to come over for a uh, bull fighter. Okay, so uh, I'm here um, today to request uh, a sponsorship for the Cow Cam Fair. I used the money for the bulls to uh, get the bulls over here and some purse money. But we've um, we've had this fair. The fair it, this year will be 102 years old. It's the second oldest fair in the state of Louisiana. Anybody want to guess what the oldest one is? Shreveport. Uh, state fair is the oldest fair, and uh, we're the second oldest. But these things are getting tougher and tougher to, to put on. Got to come up with some new stuff, new stuff. But we still do the livestock shows. That's um, Cameron and Calcasieu and Cameron only. Uh, they do beauty pageants, Calcasieu and Cameron only. Um, we have special citizen day. We have kids cooking contests, school choirs, talent contests, food booths, carnivals. And then we got this bullfight. Um, and the uh, Cameron Parish Police Jury has graciously um, donated toward, uh, sponsored the, bull, the bulls of the bullfight for the past two years. So I came down to ask for that ag again. And um, it's, it's been at the 5,000 was the, uh, is what they donated the past two years. So that's what I was uh, requesting. And you could vote on it day or the next meeting or whenever y'all wanted to do it if she got it on the yeah. agenda yeah. however we did huh? may in may so if y'all had any questions um and we're as, as sponsors you get tickets to the event you get uh gate passes um special seating uh <coughs> parade there's a parade you get a parade um I'm gonna get. I'm gonna guess. There's probably 
these days there's probably 30,000. Over the four-day event, there's probably 30,000 people that come through there that pay their way. We have different prices on different days. Depends on what we have going on that day. Are your bullfights only one night? Yes, sir. As of, as of right now, um, we had a bull riding year before last on a Friday night. We had a little little junior bull riding and um, man, it went on forever and ever. So they, they moved it to the Burton Coliseum. But I was talking to um, Todd Little and Tim Granger about bringing the bull riding back on Friday night. This is only a one night event. It's hard to get those guys to stay more than one night, but um, you gotta have a lot, a lot of money up if you're gonna get them to stay more than one day. But I could do a bull riding on uh, Friday night, and I could do a bull fight on Saturday night, and um, I think I could fill it up. I think I could fill it up both nights. Okay. okay. So, thank you. Y'all got any questions? No, I'm good. Thank you. You good? good. Okay. Thank you all very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh, executive session. I don't have anything new to report unless y'all have questions. And I don't, we don't need to go into executive session for my sake. But if you have any questions, we can. <coughs> y'all. Okay. So. But it's there just in case because things develop sometimes day by day. But thank you. Thank you. No executive session. Uh, public comment. Mary, we don't have any other call. No public comment. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, March meeting, meeting minutes. <coughs> Move to adopt. I'll second it. Right. Got a motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Uh, all right. Need a motion to approve the add ons. Uh, this said, I believe, uh, Miss Cindy Sneed and uh, all, of all three. All three. Yeah, we can do all of them. Move. Second. All right, motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Sam. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. <coughs> All right. Permits. Uh, we take them one at a time, Mary. It's up to y'all, Mr. Ronald. We'll go with the uh, stream wetland services, Olive Beach, Mud Lake, Coastal Restoration Area. One at a time? You want to do one at a time? I'll move, yes. I'll move on that one. I'll second it. Right, got a motion by Mr. Sonny. Second by Mr. Johnny. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Uh, Jeff Davis Electric. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Motion by Mr. Mark. Second by Mr. Johnny. No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. All right. Uh, what about the CPRA? I'll make a motion. Oh, you want to talk about it? All right. And a motion by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Sam. Any discussion? Everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Uh, Venture Global. This is the uh, blade blade dredging in the impoundment basin. Yep. Move. I'll second. second. All right. Motion by Mr. Sonny. Second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Uh, all right. We have the appointments. So. Uh, one at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the Alpha is uh, the Eminent Service District number one. Chris Chris Mooney's term expired. I'll make a motion to uh, leave it open or table it till next meeting. Second. All right, got a motion by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Sonny. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Uh, gravity drainage district number three. Scott Henry's term expired. Move to reappoint. I'll second it. All right, motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. 
gravity drainage district number four, John Morales' term expired. I'll make a motion to appoint Xavier Terrio and also request Ms. Mary send Mr. Todd a letter of appreciation. Okay. Second. All right. Uh, motion by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Sonny to appoint Xavier Terrio. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Uh, Gravity District number seven. We have uh, Don Trahan and Rodney Beal. Both term expired. Move to reappoint both of them. Second. Motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Sam. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. <clears throat> Gravity Drainage District number eight, Bozo Cox, term expired. Reappoint. I'll make a motion to reappoint. I'll second. We got a motion by Mr. Danny, second by Mr. Jotty. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Eminence Service District Number Two, <coughs> Miss Phyllis Doxy resigns. Is that is that's probably my my appointment for camera? Am I correct? Am I correct? No, that's uh, a Grand Lake appointment. It's Grand Lake. Mm -hmm. It's in uh, Mr. Sam, Mr. I mean Mr. Johnny and Mr. Danny's district. It's y'all's right. district. Right? Mm -hmm. Not table. But it's a Grand yeah, it, it's a Grand Lake area, but she lives in y'all's district. So table till next month. I second it. Motion by Mr. Danny, second by Mr. Johnny. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'll send her a letter of appreciation also. Thank you. Uh, Tourism Commission, uh, Ms. Joanne Nunez resigned. And uh, looks like we need a motion to appoint Ms. Geraldine Myers. I make a motion to second. Got a motion by Mr. Johnny, second by Mr. Danny. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. I'll send Ms. Joanne a letter as well. Yeah, she she was on there she, a long time. I know talking to Sonny with yeah, the birds. Her son her. called and she did not want to resign, but she knew there was no way she could do what needed to be done. It was with a heavy heart she rendered her resignation. Yeah, thank you to Ms. Joanne for sure. Uh, Beachfront District Number One, Chad Cooper resigned. Yeah, I'd like to uh, send Chad a letter thanking him for his service and uh, appoint Cindy Sneed to take his place. Okay. I'll second it. All right, and a motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Uh, so, the authority to amend the motion made by Mr. Fuel. Okay, so there was a motion made by Mr. Fuel, seconded by Mr. Uh, Myers on February 14th concerning the per diem, and it was listed for wastewater district number one, and it should have been listed for South Cameron Consolidated Water Works district number one. So we're going <coughs> to add that for their per diem. So what would be the next okay, so we just motion. need to make a motion to amend it to read South Cameron. Waterworks Consolidated Edition. Make a motion to whatever you just said. <laughs> second. Oh, yeah. Got a motion by Mr. Danny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Uh, motion to approve to move regular <coughs> meetings for the rest of the year to the first Monday of the month. We got a motion by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Sam. All in favor? Aye. Good, Sonny? Good. Motion passed. All right. Authority to advertise uh, bids for the official journal. Move. Second. Motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Danny. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Or to advertise to amend the ordinance for the Klondike Lowry Drainage District. I make a motion to advertise. And a motion by Mr. Johnny, second by Mr. Danny. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. All 
All right, we got a motion to approve the present authority to sign. Uh, well, I just can we can we approve them all at once? I just read them off as uh, Alpha is a proclamation declaring April 2024 as a Fair Housing Month. Uh, April 1st through the 5th is National Community Development Week. Uh, April the 7th through the 13th is National Library Week. And, uh, Delta is a contract for the North Cameron Emergency Operations Center project resolution. Uh, this is probably procedures for development block. Right? Oh no, I jumped off. Yeah. And E is, okay, E is for the development block grant for the Mermitall in the nation project. F is the administrator, but we'll hold out. So A through E. So we're approving A through E? Yes. I make a motion to approve A through E. Uh, question before we do that, uh, the contract, is that what we talked about earlier? Yeah, Tom has reviewed e. the contract um, yes. for North Cameron EOC. Okay. Any problems, Sonny? Motion by Mr. Danny, second by Mr. Sam. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Okay, uh, the next one is a resolution for uh, giving the administrator authority to sign required documents for the Community Development Block Grant uh, Disaster Recovery Program. So, Katie, Katie talked to us about this. You were talking about earlier? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Just to sign the CEA and any relevant grant program management documentation. I'll make a motion. Second. All right, and a motion by Mr. Johnny, second by Mr. Sam. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Okay, a letter of support for Southwest Coastal Funding. I'll make a motion. Second. And a motion by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Sonny. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Uh, so there's the change orders for the Grand Lake Maintenance Board. Uh, you take them all at one time. I'll make a motion. I got a motion by Mr. Johnny. Second. Second by Mr. Sam. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. <coughs> uh, motion to approve the Cameron Council on Aging and Mr. Mill program. Uh, appropriation in the amount of $12,000. Dollars. dollars. I make a motion. I'll second it. Okay. And a motion by Mr. Johnny. Second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Sixteen uh, consideration adopting resolution describing the geographic limits of the Hackberry Fire Protection District. Number one of the is there, I guess it's number one, huh? Yeah. Yes. Sir. The Move. parish of Cameron. Move. I second. Okay, you got a motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Uh, 
uh, consider adopting resolution authorizing and ordering and calling an election uh, on November 5th, 2024 to consider renewal of an ad valorem tax millage for the Hackberry Fire Protection, Protection District Number 1. Move. I'll second. Uh, motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Consideration of adopting a resolution describing the geographic limits of the fire protection district number 15. I move. Second. A motion by Mr. Johnny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Consider uh, adopting a resolution authorizing the order and calling an election November 5th, 2024. Consider an ad valorem tax for the fire protection number 15. Is that right, Mr. John? Yes. I right. make a move. A second. A motion by Mr. Johnny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Uh, consideration of a, a liquor permit for Zat Investment LLC. Uh, doing business as a Cameron Country Store in Johnson by who? Second. Motion by Mr. Sonny, second by Mr. Danny. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Uh, motion to accept the lowest responsible bid for the rebid of the private property debris removal. I make a motion. What, what was it? Hold on. So there were five bids. Received um, Wilkerson Transportation, $93,500. Marshland Equipment, $106,150. Dynamic Group, LLC, $133,670.25. Construction Management, $89,760. Collins Property Maintenance, LLC, $96,400 recommendation is to accept the lowest bidder of construction management in the amount of $89,760. Yes, sir. Have we used that person in the past? No. They complied with everything that we needed, um, but we haven't used them. Yeah, they all qualified. Nobody got disqualified this round, and they were the lowest bid. Were, were they out of it? And, and, we, and we rebid this because we give it to who? Crane. Say again? Oh, we, and just a rebid? Because the first they pulled round, the uh, Crane Brothers withdrew their bid. Okay. So we had to re-advertise. And we're still waiting on FEMA to authorize the money to continue the, the, the PPDR, which currently the uh, FEMA's inspectors ought to finish tomorrow. And hope that I get it that much closer to get obligation of the money to continue the project. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step out here. I know it may be not be the most legal thing to say, but I always want to use local business where I can. Uh, I know local business. I know uh, people that I've known, seen business done. So I don't know. I don't know these people. I mean, that's why I'm asking the questions. I, I don't. I mean, that, that's y'all's option. Uh, I mean, you can justify it, but the protocol is the lowest bid. And we don't have no bad history, nothing to, to discredit them at all. Uh, you'd have to ask the DA on that. I mean, hey, Mr. Tom. Feel <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in law school again. I'm getting called on in class. Um, so I did. So this is uh, except the, the low bid for that re rebidding the the. Yes. My concern is a FEMA funded a reimbursement type program. We spend the money that FEMA reimburses us. If we don't accept the lowest bid, might not get reimbursed. We risk, we you risk not being reimbursed. That's a good news. That. <laughs> so, so, so that. That answer your question, sir? Answer my question. Uh, just, just, it's a chance to take. So if this were not a FEMA driven program reimbursement and being a service like, like your debris cleanup, service related, you, you can consider other things than just price on service contracts. Construction of a building, it's bottom line, lowest bidder, but on service. But since it's FEMA, I would not go outside that those guidelines. So they guaranteed they're going to pay us? 
I mean, you're, they will pay us if we abide by the, if we check off, if we dot the I perfect and cross the T perfect and we do it right, we'll be reimbursed. If we don't accept the lowest bidder, then that I on the, the dot may be off a little bit and we don't, we stand a chance of then not getting reimbursed. Yeah, I think you have a motion to make a mistake and I thought that that hard way to move. What was, this, what was the second uh, uh, lowest there, uh, Mary? Wendell. Just, just Wendell. Wilkerson. So the second lowest was uh, Wilkerson Transportation by around six, five thousand dollars. And I'm I'm, I'm going to say this: some people come to me at the job. I know we got to do it. It's, it's the legal thing to do. But they don't always know what you're getting into. Mr. Wendell knows what he's getting into. He knows that he knows this place like the back of his hand. I so. agree 100 percent with you, Sonny. And I wish I could give you a better an or a different answer. You gave me the answer that I needed. Sorry. And it's all and because it's FEMA driven. I understand. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll Mark made a motion. I'll still make a motion. I mean, I hate to not use local, I'm but with with the circumstances, I, I think we right. don't need to, or we can put the bill. So, but that's still up to y'all. Y'all got y'all say so. so. All right. Got a motion by Mr. Mark. Second. Second by Mr. Danny. Discussion. Good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. All right. Uh, generation of the bids for a fire truck for the South Cameron Consolidated Fire District. So um, we received one bid for a fire truck, truck with two specifications requested by the fire department from Action Truck and Equipment Incorporated for $185,000. I'll make a motion. Uh, does, does the fire department agree with that? Okay, I'll second. Yeah, I have a letter actually from the fire chief that the board approved it as well. We'll make sure. Uh, okay, then a motion by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Sonny. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Consideration of a uh, Murray Fire Station. I guess we'll make a motion to table it. Or? Table. table. Second. All right. And a motion to table by Mr. Mark, second by Mr. Danny. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. So we're in table to make. Set your monthly financial statements. I'll make a motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Mark. Second by Mr. Sam. I'm good. good. All in favor? Motion passed. Uh, motion that approved bills be paid. Motion by Mr. Johnny, second by Mr. Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Uh, and this is that one of the deals that uh, Mr. Tom added on there at 26 is a motion to approve a workers' comp settlement for Stephen Broussard in the amount of $132,000. Yes, sir. It's, it's all signed up. The judge signed up. It, it, it's a done deal. We're really just asking for y'all to approve. Y'all gave us that guidance in executive session, but we just need that official approval. I make a motion to accept it. All right. Motion by Mr. Johnny. Second. Second by Mr. Danny. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. Uh, the motion to adjourn the meeting. Okay. I'll make a motion. Motion by Mr. Mark. Second. Second by Mr. Johnny. All in favor? Aye. 